Hey. So this is gonna be short and sweet, just like me. That's a joke. Because I'm not, I'm not particularly short. Probably not very sweet either, but um, it <laughs> it's fairly late in the week. And uh, I didn't record yet. But, so it's a song day. Um, call me lazy. But we're going to do it like we did before, one time. And there's a song that it's just better when the original artist does it. So you can just go listen to the song and then listen to me blab. Or go listen to the song and and then and that's it. <coughs> but anyway, the song is um, Line and the Lamb by Crystal Lewis. The reason the song um, is in my head and why I think it's appropriate is because it's a good song. <laughs> but um, earlier this week, my dad and I were talking, you know, talking. And the subject of music, um, specifically worship music, came up. And specifically, specifically, the idea that um, there are less songs these days uh, that are just strictly vertical. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's horizontal songs, kind of like songs we would sing, like, to encourage each other or you know, songs we sing about other people, um, like spouses and stuff. And then there's vertical songs, which are basically worship songs because it's us singing to God or about God. Uh, but strictly vertical songs would be basically, in a way, they have nothing to do with you. Um, it can be hard to separate the narrative aspect of songs especially even when it comes to the gospel because we did play a part in that um, in being sinners <laughs> but some songs are strictly just this is who God is and it has nothing to do with me I, I never sang I or you know those kinds of songs and there's nothing wrong with that um, but it's just it's interesting and, and during the conversation it was mentioned that 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 would almost be the epitome of a worship song is that it is exclusively about who God is what he did and no reference to me whatsoever because it is it is the it's the pinnacle because or the epitome because that's what worship is supposed to be it's about him and not about us no emotional um churning i guess it's just purely um reality based uh, factually based and not that emotions are not real things they're not factual but we've talked about this before the emotional expression is in response to or is is structured by the principle the reality <clears throat> it's structured by who god is and and even just a proper order in worship a proper heart um doing it in spirit as opposed to in the flesh um and it's uh the song was also i think it popped into my head too because there's been a common theme recently about heaven which is you know we've talked about that but the the majesty and the glory that's found in who jesus is in what heaven is what it represents it's well conveyed in the song um but yeah so i think that's it 
Lion and the Lamb, Crystal Lewis. It's one of my favorite songs, I can say. Just thinking about it now, I think that's one of my favorite songs of all time. And I haven't, I don't listen to a lot of music, but like I said, it's it's well, it conveys well the picture of who he is, and she's got a great voice, you know, and the music is always great. But <clears throat> anyway, short and sweet. So yeah, who God is got nothing to do with me. He he stays the same regardless of what I do or the gospel is still the gospel even if I don't surrender to it. But it is the better thing to do so, to acknowledge him as the lion and the lamb and all the other things that the song describes. But anyway, so I guess you go listen to the song now and I'm done so that you don't have to come back, but <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.